Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics and welcome to Tuesday's Tanks. Today we're going to be going over my 55 gallon Amuna tank. This tank also has one clown loach and one red tail shark, which both have a story behind it. So let's go take a look at this tank. This is my 55 gallon African cichlid Mbuna tank. Um, pretty aggressive. There's two fish in here that are not the Mbunas. That red tail shark, oh, which has a story behind him. He's a little. Uh, and my clown loach, which unfortunately is the only survivor of about an ick when I was one month into the hobby. It must have been six weeks into the hobby because this tank was cycled. And I didn't know better, and I was adding fish from all different stores without quarantining. We got ick, and then I treated them half dose, raised the temperature. Oh, in the end, only one of the clown loaches survived. And that's him. So those are the only two that are not African cichlids. All the other ones I got as assorted African cichlids. A lot of these are babies from these and every time somebody's spawning one of my adults die. Very aggressive fish, very aggressive fish. So as you can see they like to aquascape their own thing. So what I like to do every once in a while is rearrange the rocks, especially if I'm going to be introducing any new fish. I don't have any fish in quarantine right now but I'm going to rearrange the rocks Give a thorough cleaning, let them start out with a clean slate, clean the whole back glass and everything, and it's time for a spring cleaning. Let's just say spring cleaning. So this tank's going to get a big rescape. Well, at least a good cleaning. That not one, but two hang in the back filters were off. I haven't noticed it till today, and the electrician was here last week doing something outside and I think if you flipped the breaker and they didn't go back on, I didn't notice it. So one of the first things, I could not just turn it on again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit, try to get these filters up and running again. But what I had to do is remove them because whatever was sitting inside these filters is not going to be good for my aquarium. So I had to remove it. I'm cleaning out the filters with tank water and see if I can get them started again using this bucket and then I'll put them back up here. Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to try this again, but I do not ever have luck fixing these filters. I made it work! One down, three to go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh look, after all that cleaning, and it's still. Oh. Sorry, I couldn't even imagine what it would have looked like if I hadn't done all that work. So, I might not. Oh. Yay, we have filtration again. That was pretty scary. Well, not scary. What it was was, I knew there was going to be a lot of work. Okay, let me get on to see if I can fix the other filter because I really believe that the, my cichlids need two hang in the back and squish filters. And I don't know if I just made that up in my head or if I heard it along the way, but they like super clean water and I just thought it'd be better safe than sorry. Although, look at this water. Does that look super clean to anybody? Oh, no, no, no. I might do another quick water change. Filter number one, complete. I love how people, some people can just take things apart and they know exactly what they're doing. They put it all together and it works just fine. That is not the case with Suzy Q, that's for sure. I take things apart, I have extra pieces, I throw them in a bag. See now this impeller, I don't know if you can see this. I can see there's stuff wrapped around it. Much nicer. The water's starting to settle. Uh, I don't see too much aggression. Actually, they're all so busy trying to find their new home, except for that red-tailed shark. 
Boy, do I have a story to tell about that red-tailed shark. I'm going to save that for another day. It's amazing. It's amazing. But if I tell you the story about the red-tailed shark, I'm really going to look like an a-hole. So maybe I won't. <laughs> And she was gone. She was gone for like six months. Couldn't find hiding her hair. I couldn't figure they ate her. I'm feeling bad and guilty. I cleaned out the filters. Couldn't find her. Couldn't find her. Anyway. Then one day I was cleaning out the filters, but this time with hot water. Um, and tap water. Because I it was I was keeping the substrate and all the rocks and the beneficial bacteria there. But like I take turns cleaning the filter. Then I clean the rocks. Then I clean that filter. And out comes that red-tailed shark. Tattered as all get out. Must have been in that back of the filter for six months. Fat as could be, but tattered. Tattered, tattered. I felt so horrible because now I'm scalding hot water through it. I had a tank inside the tank and she jumped out back into her tank. I'm like, all right, there you go. And she's been all around with me ever since, feisty as could be. Hysterical. All right. Maybe that wasn't such a good story. I think it's a good story. She's a heck of a survivor, even though I was a... All right, so this one is moving. See that? It was as solid as could be, one piece, and now it's... This filter just might work now. I'm just going to put it on the end here. Because I think it matters whether it's tilted, whether it's forward, whether it's backwards. Thanks for coming along this Tuesday's tank and checking out my Ambuna tank. I really do like these guys. They got a lot of personality. If you're interested in this kind of content, hit the subscribe button. I'm Suzy Q at Q Aquatics.